He has a beard and he has a mustache. He looks like dressed up in white. He is very bright. He is Heavenly Father's son. Jesus is a brother. He sacrificed a lot. Like, he tells us to care about other people. He'd like warn people about stuff, like, and make sure they're all safe because he cares about each one of us. Candle of faith, candle of faith, candle of faith is lit you and Jesus. We are your children, we are your children. Make every step with you and faith with hope and love. We love in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we start, let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt fear or lost confidence in yourself? I know how you feel about my question. I personally have felt anxiety and fear many times in my life, but I was able to overcome these situations with the help of the Holy Spirit. Yes, today we're going to take a look at what is anointing and how each of us are anointed with the Holy Spirit. After the ascension of Jesus, the disciples were afraid that they too will be caught and killed like Jesus. So they were in deep prayer in a house with Mother Mary. While they were praying on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended on them. The Holy Spirit came to all in the form of tongues of fire. The disciples, then filled with the Holy Spirit, got new courage and power. Peter, who denied Jesus during the crucifixion, began to speak publicly and courageously about Him to all people of all nations. The courage and power which they received by the anointing of the Holy Spirit enabled them to become martyrs for Christ. St. Stephen was one of the seven deacons of the early church. Even when the crowds rushed to stone him to death, he remained fearless by the power of the Holy Spirit. St. Stephen is the first martyr of the church. In the Bible, we can see a lot of incidents where our Lord Jesus Christ has promised the Holy Spirit for us. For example, in John 14, 26, our Lord tells us, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have taught you. The apostles, Peter and John, when laid their hands and prayed over the people who were baptized, they received the power of the Holy Spirit. Similarly, in Acts 19, 2-6, St. Paul, while praying over those who were baptized by John the Baptist, the Holy Spirit descended upon them. We all receive the special power and charisms of the Holy Spirit through the sacrament of anointing. 
Sacrament of anointing is the sacrament that gives us who have been made children of God by being born again in the Holy Spirit through the sacrament of baptism, the power and special charisms to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and to give witness to him to the ends of the world. Baptism, anointing, and Holy Eucharist are all called sacraments of initiation. Anointing is the continuation and the completion of baptism. These sacraments enable us to become true, win true Christian witnesses. They obtain for us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. 7. Gifts of the Holy Spirit Wisdom Understanding Counsel Knowledge Fortitude Piety And fear of God Besides these gifts, the Holy Spirit gives us the charism to proclaim the gospel and spread his kingdom. These charisms enable us to become perfect children of God and to spread his kingdom. The fruits of the Holy Spirit are signs that the Holy Spirit lives in us. The fruits of the Holy Spirit mainly are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, self-control, holiness, chastity, and endurance. The main sign of the sacrament of anointing is the praying over the candidate by the celebrant and the anointing on the forehead. This sacrament can only be received once in a lifetime. We get a special anointing of the Holy Spirit. When we obtain the gifts and charisms of the Holy Spirit, it empowers us to produce the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It empowers us to proclaim the gospel. It gives us the power to witness to Jesus. It strengthens us to fight against evil. Acts 2, 3, 4 Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. Let's do a small prayer and wind up today's class. Hope you all enjoyed and understood the importance of the sacrament of anointing in our life. Let us pray. O Lord, who gave the apostles the Holy Spirit and filled them with the spirit of the gospel, be merciful to pour out the gifts of your Holy Spirit into our lives and communities. O Holy Spirit of light and love, to you I consecrate my heart, mind and will for time and eternity. May I ever be submissive to your divine inspirations and to the teachings of the Holy Catholic Church, whose infallible guide you are. May my heart be ever inflamed with the love of God and the love of neighbors. May my will be ever in harmony with your divine will. May my life faithfully imitate the life and virtues of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him, with the Father, and you, Divine Spirit, be honor and glory forever. Amen. Mary, seat of divine wisdom, pray for us. Saint Joseph, chaste guardian of divine wisdom, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you for listening. Let's all promise Jesus to become his witnesses among our friends. Make sure to say one decade of the rosary describing the descent of the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed week and may God bless you.